discuss in fact an important theorem of classical mechanics actually our aim is to derive or deduct the lagrange equation of motion as we are studying lagrangian formulation of mechanics and we are we have already discussed some basic fundamentals of this topic and now our purpose is to derive the lagrange equation of motion but in deduction of lagrange equation of motion from d lambert principle three important theorems are used these three important theorems are known as first one is known as theorem of cancellation of dots the second one is theorem of interchangeability of total time derivative with partial coordinate derivative and the third is theorem of quadratic nature of kinetic energy today we will discuss the first theorem which is in fact theorem of cancellation of dots so uh, in fact uh, before going to the derivation of lagrange equation we will discuss all these theorems and in present lecture i am going to discuss only one theorem that is the first theorem which is known as theorem of cancellation of dots as you see here for your convenience i have just written the statement of this theorem what this theorem states i have written here see the statement says for a holonomic system i have uh, discussed already holonomic system for a holonomic system del r dot see here there is dot del r dot del q k dot is equal to del r by del q k what you see here it just appears that the dot in numerator on r and dot on denominator in on q k just cancel out it appears but this is not a quantity that will cancel out but it appears that since del r dot by del q k dot is equal to del r by del q k so it appears that dot has dots in numerator and denominator has been cancelled out so this theorem is called in fact a theorem of cancellation of dots so the statement says for a holonomic system this condition will be satisfied that is del r dot by del q k dot will be equal to del r by del q k as if cancellation of dots is admissible in fact in this expression you better know r is in fact position vector of any particle of a system and what is qk qk is the kth generalized coordinate you know generalized coordinates are denoted by the symbol q and the subscript k has in fact uh, f values where f uh, are degree of freedom so qk represents the kth component you may say or kth generalized coordinate of the system so the important thing is that we have to so we have to prove that del r dot by del qk dot will be equal to del r by del qk for any holonomic system this result holds and this statement is in fact known as theorem of cancellation of dots so this is the statement now we will prove this uh, theorem you will see that a very simple proof of this theorem uh, holds and what is that proof i will now discuss it so consider a holonomic system the, 
and you know for a holonomic system the restrictions or the constraints are imposed on the position of the particle and that constraint or that restriction is not a partial restriction but the position of the particles are completely restricted and for uh, a holonomic uh, constant or colonomic system what is the transformation equation or the equation of constraint you have already uh, studied in the previous lectures so for a holonomic system the transformation equation is what is transformation equation for a holonomic system we know r equal to r of q1 q2 so on qf t here q1 q2 q3 and so on qf are in fact generalized coordinates you we know that this f is what this is in fact number of degrees of freedom number of degrees of freedom now we can find by the rule of partial differentiation the value of r dot so by the rule of partial differentiation r dot you know what r dot means r dot means dr by dt total time derivative of r or ordinary time derivative of r as r is a function of in fact f plus one independent variables so to find the total de derivative of r with respect to time we must follow the rules of partial differentiation so what will you write we will write that this will be equal to del r del q1 d q1 by dt plus del r by del q2 d q2 by dt plus son plus del r by del qf d qf by dt and plus del r by del t dt by dt see see this equation we may write it what dq1 by dt this will be q1 dot dq2 by dt this will be q2 dot and du dqf by dt this will be qf dot so we may write it as del r1 by del q1 q1 dot plus del sorry this is not r1 this is simply r del r 
एंड दिस इज डेल आर बाय डेल क्यू टू क्यू टू डॉट प्लस सो ऑन प्लस डेल आर बाय डेल क्यू एफ क्यू एफ डॉट एंड प्लस हेयर डी टी डी टी विल बी वन सो दिस इज सिंपली डेल आर बाय डेल टी नाउ सी दीज एफ टर्म्स इन ए कॉम्पैक्ट फॉर्म वी मे राइट इट बाय एसाइनिंग द साइन ऑफ समेसन एज दिस दिस इज समेसन over k equal to 1 to f 1 to f and this is del r by del qk qk dot substituting the limits k equal to 1 to f you will get all these first f terms and plus the last term this is del r by del t we have find it for r dot this expression is for r dot now this result obtained in equation 2 is partially differentiated with respect to any other generalized velocity any other uh, what we want to say any other in fact what do we mean by qk dot this qk dot is what this is in fact generalized velocity generalized velocity or more specifically you may say this is in fact kth component of generalized velocity and as i have told you we will differentiate partially this r dot with respect to any other component of generalized velocity say let us say jth component denoted by qj dot so we will differentiate partially equation 2 with respect to jth component of generalized velocity jth component means j is not equal to k so differentiating to partial differentiating to partially with respect to other generalized velocity say qj dot that is jth component of generalized velocity when you say other generalized velocity it means j is not equal to k we are considering so what will be our result we have to differentiate this equation 2 partially with respect to qj dot see here this is qj dot so our result will be del r dot by del qj dot equal to 
differentiate this RHS, operate the operator del del qj dot. This operator will be operated on both of the terms separately. So this will be summation over k. Now I don't write this limit time several times only in write k which will means that uh, k runs from 1 to f. So this is del r by del qk qk dot plus del del qj dot del r by del t del r by del t see the first term in rhs will be differentiated by the rule of differentiation of product of two functions here in the first term there are two functions first one is del r by del q qk and the second function is qk dot so follow the rule of partial differentiation of product of two functions so what will be our result this will be summation over k operate this operator on in fact this factor so first factor will remain same this is del r by del qk into del qk dot by del qj dot plus now operate this operator on the first function and qk dot will be as a multiplication factor so this will be qk dot del del qj dot del r by del qk and plus the last term this is del del qj dot del r by del Say this is equation number 3. This is in fact del r dot by del qj dot. Now <coughs> let us see this term del r by del t del r by del t in fact this del r by del t is a function of what in fact this is a function of different values of q that is q1 q2 q3 to qf and t also and this del r del t is not a function of q dot q dot it means this quantity del r by del t is a function of q generalized coordinate and time and it is not a function of generalized velocities that is q1 dot q2 dot q3 dot and so on so 
if it is not a function of generalized velocity then c then we can say that del del qj dot del r by del t since del r by del t is not an explicit function of qj dot so this result will be what zero so last term of this equation vanishes now again you see here this del del qj del r by del qk del r by del qk in fact this is also a function of different values of generalized coordinates q1 to qf and possibly time and it is also not a function of q dot it is not a function of generalized values so we may say that del del qj dot del r by del qk will be what this will be also equal to 0 so what we see that we see that del r dot by del qj dot is equal to this much and this term becomes 0 and this term also becomes 0 so now the equation 3 will be what so equation 3 becomes del r dot by del qj dot del r dot this is dot and del qj dot equal to what this will be summation over k del r by c the above equation del qk into del qk dot by del qj dot qj dot now see here what this quantity means in fact this quantity represents kronecker delta here del qk dot by del qj dot this is in fact denoted by the symbol delta kj and this is known as kronecker delta kronecker delta in fact this kronecker delta has two values this kronecker delta is equal to 1 if k is equal to j and this equal to 0 when when k is 
not equal to j so what we find from this equation 4 you may see when we take k and j different this result will be 0 so del r dot by del q j dot will be 0 and this will give no result so we must consider here when k equal to j so when k equal to j when k equal to j then what we will write from equation 4 then from 4 we will write del r dot by del qk dot equal to del r by del qk and in fact see the statement of this theorem in fact this is the statement of this theorem which is called theorem of cancellation of dots you see here del r dot by del qk dot is equal to del r by del qk so you see here that it appears the dots in numerator and dots in dot in numerator and dot in denominator appears that they cancel out although dots are not uh, a number or physical quantity which will cancel out it appears uh, such that so you can say that the cancellation of dot is permitted or it is permissible and this is the theorem which uh, we have stated above so the conclusion is that that the cancellation of dots is permitted this is all for today in next lecture we will in fact discuss the another important theorem which is used in the derivation of Lagrange equation and that very theorem is known as theorem of interchangeability of total time derivative with partial coordinate derivative.